All right, import all the video assets inside the new composition and create a folder and rename it video. Drag all the videos inside this folder to be more organized. Now drag and drop in the footage and drag this onto the new composition icon that will create a new composition. If you can't see any tracker window like me here, go to window and check this tracker so that you have the tracker window here. Go and click on this track motion and go and zoom in inside and set your tracking point somewhere in the memory card on the text somewhere here and you can hit this button to track forward and sit back and relax until After Effects tracks all the information for you. Go to layer and create a new null object. Rename the layer to tracking information. All right, go and hit this edit target and select the tracking information layer. Hit OK and apply. OK. So the tracking information has been linked to the null object. All right, let's test this out by clicking on this rectangle tool, draw a rectangle, and I'm gonna parent this shape layer to the tracking information layer. And if I play it back, you can see that the tracking information works very nice. All right, now that you know that the tracking information is perfect, you can go ahead and delete the shape layer and go to composition, create a new composition, and set the resolution to 1080 by 1920. Rename this to video one. Hit OK. Create a new folder and rename this precom just to stay organized and drag and drop the video one inside that folder. Now collapse this video and drag and drop the footage one and scale it to fit the composition and you can adjust the length. Right click, trim comp to work area. Select the rounded rectangle tool with no stroke and a fill color of black hit OK and draw a box like this to fit the composition. Collapse this rectangle and increase the roundness. Rename this shape layer to mask. Hit F4 and select this track mat and set this to mask one so that you mask that out. Go to the project panel, select this video one, control D to duplicate. Go inside this video one, select the video and select the next video, hold down Alt and drag and drop it. Duplicate this video three, do the same. We'll have to replace this, hold down Alt, drag and drop it and you'll have to do this for the rest of the videos. Close this video out and let's go back to the main footage composition. Control K to bring up the composition settings and rename this main comp and hit OK. And we're gonna work inside this composition. All right, now is the fun part. Let's go inside layer, new and create a new null object. Go to the project panel, go to the precoms and select all these videos, drag and drop it just below the null object. Change the color of the layer to yellow and I'm gonna rename this null object to rotation controller. Select all the videos, hit S to bring up the scale and scale it down to a 50% and collapse this back again. Select the controller and all the layers, make this a 3D layer. Select only the controller, hit P to bring up the position and set the Z values to 500. Hit R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation and parent the video one to the null object. And we're gonna input some values in the Y rotation. So for that, we have to do some math. So we're gonna take 360 divided by, we have six images. So we're gonna divide it by six. So we get 60. So we're gonna input that 60 in that Y rotation because we're gonna position those videos in a circle and the radius of a circle is 360 degree. All right, we're gonna do the same for video two. We're gonna parent this to the controller 
and we're gonna plus 60 on the rotation and we're gonna do the same for three parent it to the rotation and plus 60 and we're gonna do the same for the rest of the video except for the last video which is video number six we just have to parent it to the null object and collapse this and parent the controller to the tracking information select the controller hit r and if you scrub through this y rotation you can see it's very very nice all right let's add some keyframe for the y rotation and we'll just scrub through the timeline and try to match the finger gesture like when i you know scrub my finger somewhere around here let's move this keyframe here and i'm gonna go forward a few frames as my finger scrub like that i'm gonna set this rotation to somewhere here and you have this one so we're gonna do the same for the rest of the video All right, after you've done all the animation, select all the keyframes and we're gonna hit F9 for easy ease. Let's go to the graph and if you see this, check this edit speed graph and select all the keyframes and we're gonna tweak the keyframes to something like this. All right, go to the first frame here, set a keyframe for the rotation to something like this and if you play it back you have this rotation and we're gonna select all the video layers hit P hold down shift and T to bring up the opacity go a few frames ahead and set a keyframe for the opacity and position for all the layers go back to the first frame and and change the values of the Y to something like this so that it comes from the bottom and set the opacity to zero select all the keyframes hit f9 for easy ease and we're going to offset the timing of this animation so let's go back to the first frame and we're, we're going to hit page down five times one two three four five select this layer and drag it over here and we're going to do again one two three four five we're going to drag this here and we're gonna do this for the rest of the layers. So finally, you'll have to turn on the motion blur for the composition and for all the other layers as well. In that way, you have a very realistic motion. All right, that is how you create this kind of video in After Effects. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.